Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. Today I'm gonna uh, attempt a, a recipe which is from Lithuania. It's a soup, but before you think twice, it's a cold soup. So we're gonna use uh, kefir, which is close to yogurt and close to iron. Uh, we're gonna use a lot of beetroot, which is in this form. And then we're gonna make the cucumber in this form as well. Uh, we're gonna mix it all up. We're gonna put this on top, which I don't know the word in English. Uh, we're gonna boil some eggs and we're gonna boil some potatoes. Uh, we're gonna put the eggs inside the soup and the potatoes on the side. And then you're gonna see my face munching the soup. So guys, by the way, I'm doing my take on the Lithuanian soup here. And by the way, that is called spring onions. I know how it's called in English. So first of all, we're gonna get some potatoes in the pan and boil them, yeah? So, and then we're gonna get some eggs and boil them, probably all six, I'm not gonna smash them. So we're gonna do six eggs for boiling, just like that, gentle and lime. Boom, boom, boom. And then, I'm gonna show you the next in a minute. This doesn't work. Okay. Hey Siri, set up a 10 minute timer. 10 minutes starting now. Thank you, Siri. Now, while we're waiting for the potatoes and the eggs, we're gonna do a very special timeout and have a beer. Eggs are ready, boiled, hard boiled eggs. How would you go there? The proper Lithuanian. That egg was not properly killed off. You can tell that. You can certainly tell that. There is not much egg left. Third egg coming down with pride. Oh, this one is smooth. Oh, look at that. This is so fulfilling. Look at that. Egg number four. Gotta make it. Egg number five. Fine. Five. Fine. Okay, fine or five? Let's go. It's slower than it looks like, guys. I swear. That's some damage there. Three. 
three, two, one. You need to record me to catch the balls as well, okay? okay. Hi Winston, say hi. Winston, hi. No hi. Potatoes are ready, bros. They seem ready. Who wants to bet me I'm gonna have thousand views on this video? Amazing! Now, potato is ready, so we're just gonna cut cucumber. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Hey. This is so difficult. Okay, there we are. Thank you. So now we're gonna try and make a pizza slice from the cucumber, which might not succeed, but let's just give it a try. That's a half, that's another half, that's a pizza slice, that's another pizza slice, and that's somewhat a good attempt of a cucumber. Okay, so we cook this a proper chaff style, so I'm wearing Adidas, so in, in respect of Lithuanian squid this soup. Now we finish the cucumber, so it's cut, looks like pizza slices, but not really. So we're gonna go with the eggs. Probably they're gonna make a bit of a mess, but let's try and cut this and then we're going with the beetroot. So let's try this. One, two, okay, I'm, I'm losing it. Three, oof. I could be a chef, you know that? Maybe not. This is a one-off video. Guys, don't try this at home. Or maybe try it, but in a more nicer way. And I'm not too sure what was that sound. I was completely wrong. So we're gonna try to cut it in the right way now. So trust me with this one. Okay. Apparently the egg needs to be in tiny pieces. So the soup is more delicious. Thank you. By the way, this is so fulfilling. got the cucumber and the egg ready uh, with my professional cutting skills which are not so professional but I'm trying here okay you can do it on your own liking now we're gonna put the beetroot inside this pot so okay I'm not that strong I skip the gym Ooh. it's not it's not coming down it's not coming down guys guys I need your help Okay, let's put some beetroot. It's very red. Okay, well done. So now we're just gonna add one more of this. Well done. I could not do that from the first time, I swear. I don't know why they call this a soup, to be fair. It's just a, a pot of beetroot and cucumber and eggs, but let's see if we can actually make it a soup. <laughs> okay. So let's do one recording with my stuff. Okay. So we put it down. Oh, look at that. That is fulfilling. Does that look like a soup? That doesn't look like a soup to me, but let's see what we're gonna make. One more bottle. Okay. Boom. That looks exciting. We're gonna use the world tiniest spoon to mix this stuff to make a soup, okay? Maybe you wanna use a bigger spoon, but this looks like fun. It should be pink, I swear. It looks pink on Google, okay? 
I googled it by the way. This person. Where are the cucumbers? Oh, oh, it's becoming pink. It's becoming pink. We got some progress. Progress. Okay, maybe you want to use a bit unconventional tools for this mixing, okay? Maybe, you know, something else. Like a big spoon or a spat spatula, if that's the correct word. Guys, this looks like fountain of youth. So, uh, I just need to add some spring onions. But before that, we're gonna just have a little taste while no one's watching. That's amazing and very unhygienic because I put the spoon back. But let me come back to you with the spring onion in a second. Now we're gonna wash some spring onions. Got my finger. Charlie bit my finger. Carry on. Guys, doesn't this look amazing? So we just try it. We are ready for the moment now to see whether this actually tastes good or not. So let's go. Um, oh my god. It looks amazing. This and this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Michelin restaurant hashtag slash homemade. So let's try. You could also put the potato inside or just eat it like this. But I think people put it inside because it's more delicious because it's hot potato and cold soup. But it actually is very delicious. So, if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to try this soup, hire a professional chef, don't look at this video, but give me a thumbs up, okay? Thank you. The most important secret, secret ingredient, which I put here, was one spoon of love. And now you can enjoy your meal. Thank you.